Uh, our goal here is to have uh, something that's more functional than an F-150, uh, which, which is a great truck um, and uh, tough selling car, tough selling vehicle in in, in the U.S. Um, but then also a better sports car than a basic 911. So <laughs> that's a hard one. Um, but like it's physically possible, so I think we can do it. What you just heard was a clip from Tesla's annual shareholders meeting where Elon Musk revealed some more details about the upcoming Tesla truck. But this isn't some new product that was suddenly announced. It's been in development for a really long time. There's actually a lot we already know about the truck based on tweets from Elon Musk. And a lot of people don't know that. So today I'm gonna to be going through some tweets that date all the way back to 2013 and kind of piece together what we know about the truck so far. If you want to follow along, I actually made a moment on Twitter with all the tweets I'm going to be referring to. That makes it a little easier so you don't have to search through Twitter to find all of them. You can just follow along with me here. First one is from May 7th, 2013, and Elon's kind of tweeting about Tesla's priorities. So he says, Tesla priority is electrification of cars, so priority is Model S, Model X, then mass market third gen vehicles, so the Model Y in this case, and then a truck. No mention of the Model Y, but this was back in 2013, so might not have been in Tesla's production plan. So a couple weeks later in May, he says, would love to do a pickup truck, something with ultra low CG, so that's center of gravity for sports car handling, dynamic air suspension, and mega torque. So as we've seen with electric motors, they are capable of incredible torque, and that's really useful on a truck. So. Uh, curious to see how much torque it actually has. I'm guessing it's going to be insane or mega in this case. So he kind of goes on a four-year hiatus after that. Doesn't say anything about the truck until February 7th of 2017. Says no plans to take the X, S, or 3 above 100 kilowatt hours semi-necessarily. And pickup truck maybe will go above. And here he's responding to a fan question asking about how much battery capacity... Uh, the Tesla cars will have in the future because they only go up to 100 kilowatt hours now and it says no plans to take the current models the X S and 3 above 100 kilowatt hours which makes sense because as they kind of improve their batteries I think 100 kilowatt hours might be the most that they need but the semi definitely needs more because it's got to travel really far and it's way bigger but then says the pickup truck maybe will go above so we might get a bigger battery pack in the pickup so then in April of 2017, he tweets about the semi-truck event and somebody replies asking when the pickup truck event will be. And Elon says, pickup truck unveil in 18 to 24 months. And 18 months would put us about October of this year, which lines up with a lot of the rumors we've seen that it's gonna be released by the end of the summer or late this year. So then December 26, 2017, Elon says, again, another response to a fan question, says that he promises they will make a pickup truck right after Model Y, have had the core design slash engineering elements in mind for almost five years and dying to build it. So again, this is in 2017. They've been working on the design and engineering of it for five years. So back since they were working on the Model S back in 2012, it sounds like they've been uh, developing this truck and really trying to perfect it and make an awesome vehicle. So then June 26, 2018, it gets interesting. It seems like the pickup truck is confirmed at this point when Elon tweets out, what would you love to see in a Tesla pickup truck? I have a few things in mind, but what do you think are small but important nuances? What would be seriously next level? Here he then confirms with a reply to that tweet, says the Tesla truck will have dual motor all wheel drive, crazy torque, and a suspension that dynamically adjusts for load. Those will be standard. So it sounds like if you've got more load, it'll adjust the suspension so it rides better, that sort of thing. And again, mentions the crazy torque. But then we also get confirmed that it will have dual motor all wheel drive. Also says with another reply that pickup truck will have power outlets allowing use of heavy duty 240 volt high powered tools in the field all day, no generator needed, which I don't have a lot of experience with using power tools out of a truck, but I think having that capability is awesome, especially if you wanna use this for a work truck or are gonna be using high powered equipment all day. And then the next day on June 27th, a fan says that he is 6'9 and would love a bigger truck to fit in. 
Uh, and then Elon responds, sir, this will not be some dainty buttercup of a truck. Driver's seat will be big enough to fit Andre the Giant. Love that guy. And if you don't know who Andre the Giant is, he's a professional wrestler. He was actor for a time period as well, but he is seven foot four and listed at 520 pounds. So it sounds like this truck will be very roomy and have plenty of room uh, for any kind of passenger. So then later in 2018, December 11th, Elon says he is dying to make a pickup truck and they might have a prototype to reveal later next year. So again, kind of confirming that 2019 unveiling. So then on March 3rd, so this is a couple weeks before the Model Y event, uh, there's a tweet about the Model Y event, but then somebody asks if that's the pickup truck event, which he says, no, that event will be later this year. So we had the Model Y earlier this year. It sounds like we're gonna have the pickup truck coming very soon. And then Elon replies to another tweet and says, personally, I'm most excited by the Tesla truck. Maybe it will be too futuristic for most people, but I love it. Uh, again, we're getting kind of a futuristic design, uh, like a lot of the other Tesla cars, but it'll be interesting to see that in a pickup truck. So if you watch the Model Y event, you might have missed the teaser image that uh, was released right after the event. And this is our first glimpse at what the pickup truck might actually look like. And it's got this futuristic kind of Blade Runner-esque sci-fi design. And that's basically the only picture we have of it right now. There's been a lot of mock-ups online, but any of those you've seen so far are probably not official Tesla images. All we've got is just that uh, that end of the truck there. And after that, uh, that the image was released, we didn't even know if that was the front or back. That was all we had. And that was basically all we knew about the pickup truck. That is until Elon went on the Ride the Lightning podcast and had a conversation with the host, Ryan McCaffrey, and he hosts this unofficial Tesla podcast. And we got to learn some more information about the upcoming pickup truck. And we heard a couple things here. Uh, first off, it's going to be start at less than $50,000. Elon says the goal for a starting price is no more than $49,000, which is pretty good, especially for a Tesla, which usually has a premium on it. Uh, but basically says you should be able to get a good truck for about $49,000. Yeah, I think it's got to start at less than $50,000. It's got to be like $49,000 starting yeah. price max, uh, you know, as, 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 and ideally less. Again, he also confirms the uh, non-classic design. It's gonna be really sci-fi and won't appeal to everybody, but will appeal to some people. It won't look like a, a normal truck. So it's it's gonna look pretty sci-fi. Um, that means it's, it's not gonna be for everyone. Like if somebody just wants to have a truck that just looks like trucks have looked for you know, the last 20 years, then 30 years or 40 years, then this probably isn't for them. He also talks about the specs, not directly, but just by comparing it to other vehicles. Like, you know, the goal is like be a, be a better truck than an F-150 in terms of truck-like functionality um, and be a better sports car than a standard 911. <laughs> That's the aspiration. On that podcast, Elon was also able to confirm that that teaser image was the front of the truck. And that brings us to Tesla's annual shareholders meeting where we got a few more details about the truck and basically just kind of confirms the unveiling date is going to be later this summer. Basically, they're trying to get it in by the end of the summer and kind of build the hype behind this pickup truck. Pickup truck event sometime, probably sometime this towards the end of summer would be my guess. Like We're trying to create something here that is really new and not, not just derivative of, of all the other vehicles on the road. Uh, that when we try to create something new and it's, it's not just basically a copy of the form factor of everything else. Uh, but you still want it to be great. Uh, it's very hard. This is a very hard thing. There were also some audience questions about the pickup truck, but those just kind of confirmed what we already knew. It's going to be a better truck than the Ford F-150 and a better sports car than the Porsche 911. There was also a question about towing, and Elon just kind of deferred back to the Ford F-150, saying that will it will meet or exceed what the Ford F-150 can handle. So let's kind of recap here everything we know so far based on tweets and the couple interviews and the annual shareholders meeting. First off, it's going to be start at less than $50,000. We've got a low center of gravity. We've got crazy slash mega torque. We've got a dynamic air suspension, battery pack of 100 kilowatt hours or more, dual motor all wheel drive, a better truck than the F-150, 
better in performance than a Porsche 911. It will fit Andre the Giant, who's 7'4 and 520 pounds. Won't look like a normal truck. It'll be very sci-fi slash cyberpunk as seen in that teaser image. We've confirmed that the teaser image is the front of the truck. And we know that it's going to be unveiled later this year, probably by the end of the summer. But that's basically all I know about the truck right now. If you guys think I missed something or have links to other uh, sources where Elon has re revealed more about this truck, definitely let me know. I'd be curious to see that. If you enjoyed this video, definitely hit that like button. It helps the channel out. Uh, helps these videos get noticed a lot more. Uh, and as always, subscribe if you're interested in these videos and want to see more. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video.